I hadn't bought a new cooking pan for myself in quite a while. I have a lot of pans. And I didn't realize that now pans come with warning labels that the pan could get hot and that you could get burned with the pan. Yeah, you're cooking food. I guess that's modern living. People don't realize that a metal cooking pan could get hot and burn them. Interesting. I think I need to get off the ranch more often. <laughs> this one actually says by your purchase of this product, you and this cookware company are agreeing to give up any rights to litigate. Wow, by binding arbitration. Ooh, I just wanna cook an egg. Hey y'all, I'm Melissa Guerra, I'm the Kitchen Wrangler, and I got a request to talk about non-stick pans and which ones are the best ones on the market today. Now, many of you know I had a kitchen store for 15 years, so I looked at a lot of cookware, I talked to a lot of home chefs, and I've got the non-stick pan thing worked out for you. So if you're ready, let's get started. Back when I owned a kitchen store, I talked to thousands, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people about their cookware. One of the misconceptions that I usually heard was that home cooks wanted to buy one pan and that it would cook everything absolutely beautifully. That's not the case. You have to get a pan that works for the dishes that you cook. You can't boil spaghetti in a skillet. You can't bake a pie in a stock pot. You need very specific tools to cook the dish that you want. I think people do look for safety in kitchen utensils and cookware, you know, but you can only go so far. I mean, yes, with Teflon, you do have to keep it below a certain temperature in order to keep it non-toxic and safe. Uh, but you know, you, you could always drop the pan on your toe. You know, there is no absolutely safe cookware out there, you have to just use your common sense. What I would tell my customers regarding non-stick pans is the tools in your kitchen are like the tools in a toolbox. You have a hammer, you have a saw, you have a screwdriver, you have a drill. They don't all do the same thing. You couldn't cut down a tree with a hammer. I guess you could try, it would, it would hurt yourself, I think. Uh, but you need the right tool for the right dish. So nonstick skillets don't work, in my opinion, for every single dish that you'd like to prepare. But there is one dish that nonstick pans are excellent for, and that is eggs. Eggs can be a little bit sticky, and that nonstick surface on a nonstick pan is absolutely perfect. So over the years, I started to refer to this type of pan as an egg pan. It's a very small non-stick pan that I only use for eggs. So in order to keep things simple, I thought, well, let's just test out some pans only cooking eggs. With every pan, I'm going to be using a brush to brush on a little bit of unsalted butter for a cooking oil. And we're going to be making eggs over easy, which is a very quick way to show you the quality of the egg that you'll get out of your egg pan. And as a control, I thought I would use two regular pans from my kitchen. I started out using a stainless steel pan brushed it with butter, and I really didn't like the egg that came out of it. The surface is sticky, the egg kind of burnt, the butter burnt. Usually, if you heat a pan on the stove to a high temperature, it will become less sticky. The food will stick less. However, with butter, you can burn butter very, very quickly. So I didn't quite get the stainless steel pan to the temperature where it would be a little less sticky. Balancing the temperature from burning butter and making it nonstick, that is very tricky. The next pan that I tried is my good old seasoned cast iron pan. I heated it up, I brushed it with butter, and I added the egg, and actually, this ended up being a pretty good non-stick surface. And if you want a secret, I actually bought this pan at a garage sale. So if you're into saving money and the planet, always go to thrift stores and garage sales and see if they have any old season cast iron pans. They are the best. Now let's move on to the specifically non-stick pans. But let's talk about them first. So Teflon, is the material that is used to coat 
either an aluminum or a steel pan in order to make it non-stick. Teflon is so non-stick, it's so slippery, that it's actually very difficult to get it to stick to metal. It makes sense, right? So cheaper pans don't have complicated, lengthy, expensive techniques to get that Teflon to stick to the pan. So that's why with cheaper pans, the Teflon will wear off after about a year. So manufacturers that want a more durable Teflon pan spend more time and resources getting the Teflon to stick onto the aluminum of the pan. It makes sense. So with most pans, the Teflon will in time wear off. It's unfortunate, but it's also what makes Teflon so magical. It's very slippery and it, nothing sticks to it, not even the metal from the pan that it is put on. The first non-stick pan that I tested was an inexpensive one that I got at the supermarket. It cost me less than $10. And you can see the handle is uh, not riveted, is just kind of a, you know, popped in there. And uh, so I wanted to see what kind of egg this pan would make. And it did pretty well. The egg slides around there very easily. We can flip it over very easily. I like eggs with crispy edges and nonstick pans don't really make crispy eggs. So I was watching around the edge of the egg to see at what point it would get crispy. In this inexpensive pan, I can see a little bit of brown crispiness. I wanna give a plug for sticky pans or non-non-stick. You know what I mean? Like stainless steel pans or aluminum pans. They do have somewhat of a sticky surface. I mean, foods can burn, they will stick to the pan. But if you're cooking something like fish that you want to be crispy, or french fries, or if you wanna get that beautiful little crisp edge, you're never gonna get it in a Teflon pan. But again, your selection of pans depends on what you want. Do you want that nice little crispy edge, or do you want a pan that cleans up in 20 seconds? The second pan that I tested is one from good old Amazon. Cost me about $25, and it's really nice and heavy. It's got some really great rivets here on the handle, and it has really a very heavy Teflon coating, and it's got this really nice stainless steel outer alloy. Really a beautiful pan. But I have to say that this was my least favorite egg of all of them. There's no little crispy edge. It's a little bit rubbery, and I mean, it, it moves around the pan very very beautifully, but this is not my favorite egg for texture. An egg is an egg is an egg. All eggs taste the same. It's the texture that makes them different. You can have scrambled eggs or boiled eggs or poached eggs or fried eggs. The flavor is all very similar, but it depends on what texture you are looking for. The next pan that I tested has nothing to do with Teflon. It is a new type of ceramic coating and you can find them under the brand name Green Pan. And I've used green pans for quite a while. I sold them in my store. And the one that I bought doesn't have a beautifully riveted handle, but there are other ones that do. And the ceramic coating, it's never going to wear away. Ceramic is a little bit stickier than Teflon, but this particular ceramic is actually somewhat non-stick. And uh, thank you, Green Pan, for inventing this. I really like the egg that the Green Pan produced. It's got a little bit of crispiness. It's really well cooked. The egg came out of there very easily, but it is not as non-stick as the Amazon version or the cheaper supermarket Teflon pan. The last pan that I'm reviewing is a Tefal pan, which I'm gonna say this one was my favorite. It had all the bells and whistles. It's got this really great riveted handle. It was the most expensive, but Tefal is the company that actually invented the Teflon pan and they are the first ones that figured out how to make that slippery Teflon surface stick to an aluminum pan. Now don't forget, aluminum is the best conductor of heat, so you've got this really great non-stick surface and a really great conductive metal in the pan. Super awesome, and it has this little uh, circle in the middle, and when the pan heats up to the right temperature, then the little lines disappear and you know it's time to add the butter and add the egg and it's going to turn out absolutely perfectly. And out of all the egg examples that I cooked, 
I really, really liked the T-Fowl one. But like I said, it is the most expensive pan that I reviewed, so be prepared to pay a little bit more. But if you are replacing this pan year after year after year, spending a couple of extra dollars on a more expensive T-Fowl pan is probably your best bet. Don't forget, whenever you use any nonstick pan, you need to use the proper utensils. Don't use metal because it will scrape off that slippery Teflon coating and it'll wear away much more quickly. So use one that has like a silicone coating or use a nylon spatula like I'm using today. Also, don't forget, you cannot scour a Teflon pan with steel wool or any kind of harsh abrasive. But because it's nonstick, you usually don't have to. Everything kind of washes off very quickly. Teflon is considered very safe and any of the little particles that wear away are considered non-toxic. However, in the past, there were chemicals and additives that were used in the Teflon manufacturing process that were highly toxic. So since 2002, you're not gonna find those in Teflon manufacturing and the manufacturing of pans. You will see those pans labeled as PFOA free, and that's awesome. But check your older pans. If they were manufactured before 2002, you may want to uh, use them in the garden or uh, turn them into a Frisbee or do something creative with them but you may not want to use them for cooking. Teflon can release fumes if it has been heated over 530 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's at that point that it becomes toxic to birds like parrots. <laughs> I'm a parrot owner. And so don't have any canaries, budgies, parrots in the kitchen if you decide to use a Teflon pan. You can read more about it online, but as long as you don't heat the pan too hot or leave it on the stove too long, everything's gonna be fine. Managing the temperature of a Teflon pan is really important. If it's too cool, your egg might stick to it just a little bit. If it's too hot, some of that Teflon might start breaking down and you definitely don't want that. Well, that's just a little bit of my kitchen wisdom on nonstick pans for cooking eggs. And thank you so much for that request. You know, if you ever have any kitchen question, you can message me through Pinterest, through Instagram, through Facebook, through Twitter, through YouTube, or you can email me at help at kitchenwrangler.com. You know, I'm always ready to answer any kitchen question you have. I'm Melissa Guerra, I am the Kitchen Wrangler, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here at the ranch again soon. Bye now.